Hello everyone, we coming back by new video. As you know, we are from Lotus. And in this video, I want to show you everything related to roll forming machine. So please pay attention to each part. We talking about the design, we talking about the price, we talking about everything related to roll forming machine. So, first of all, I want to explain to you what's the roll forming, what kind of machine we call roll forming machine. Roll forming is a start from maybe 200 years ago by the first machine, two rollers or three rollers to bend continuously some sheet metal. So roll forming machine is some process, continuous process that start from 19th and it progress every day it is based on the logic of a stage by a stage bending of the sheet metal with the roll system. The automation unit added to this system provide continuously to achieve the final profile. Cold roll forming, we also call it cold roll forming because no any changing temperature we have for our material and during these continuous stations we just bend and shape the for profile without any changing thickness or changing the material chemical analysis before we start to talk about design or different part this is the roll forming machine we talk about in this video so one more time again Roll forming is the continuous bending and shaping some sheet metal to some design or demand profile. For any roll forming manufacturer these days, we need a CAD design, computer aided design for 3D design for roller shaft and each part of the machine and also meanwhile we need some analyzing uh, system by Abacus or other software that we can analyze this design is working proper or not as you can see in this video I'm showing you some recently roller and shaft and how it bend and how it change during our roller continuously so pay attention, we start from the coiler and one by one we go ahead. So now I want to talk about the most important parameter in roll forming machine. Number one is now number of stands a roll forming machine. Number two is the shaft the roll forming machine. Number three is the bearing that we use for each shaft. Number four, the coiler of roll forming line. Number five, structure of stands. Number six, material of rolling tools. Let's start from the number one. Number one is the stands. Number of stands roll forming machine. Based on the different experience and the different manufacturer in China or in all the world, same profile, same requirement, we use different amount or different quantity of stands. Generally, once we use less stands, the machine cost will be lower, but it's also affected by your final shape quality. So any shape or any design need a really experience for different design and different manufacturer, we use a different amount of the stands. Here you can see all design for one roller and my shaft and this is all final stand before the coming out from machine. So with once we take in stands or one roll forming a stand, we call about down roller, up roller and the shafts.
The second item is the shaft for any stand we need the up roller and down roller shaft shaft diameter and shaft material quality will affect on your price and your quality of profile if the thickness is less than one millimeter and the width is less than 200 we mostly use a 50 or 60 millimeter diameter and some of them higher than one millimeter we analyze by software and we apply for higher diameter of shaft so the diameter of shaft the material that you use and the machining process is really important Number three, we're talking about bearing, performing machine bearing. In our design, we choose and we analyze what kind of this standard of bearing we use and the brand of the performing. In Lotus, we mostly using SCAF or NSCAP brand, but you can see in China or other countries, they may use cheaper brand for lower the cost and lower the price for the customer but we insist on the best quality of the roller and best quality of the bearing because it's effect in the long time Number four, the coiler for any roll forming machine. We need a manual decoiler or motorized decoiler. We have a different type of decoiler. You can check our page in our website. We have a special page for decoiler. Decoiler is the some component or some part of the machine that you put coil on that, raw material coil on that, and we step by step open it and fed through the machine. As you can see, we have a Motorized decoiler, we have a hydraulic decoiler, we have a automatic decoiler with a coil car, decoiler without coil car, it's up to your material thickness, material weight and material widths. We apply for different decoiler. Number five, I want to talk about the structure of a stance. Any manufacturer in the world or any manufacturer in China has their own standard for structure, main structure for a stance. In our Lotus, we have a two type of the stance. One is economic tape and we use it based on a steel sheet machining and a steel sheet uh, milling that is economic and mostly be used for domestic cheap customers. Secondary is the casting pillar or the individual pillar that we call it casting or standard pillar. Related to any thickness or any width, we have a different size standard for pillar. Some of them are small some of them are big but most of them made by casting method and we have our standard catalog for using that so a structure of a standard so we explain to you number six the material of rolling tools and this is the main and the most important part the material of rolling tools Related to your raw material that you want to form, we also analyze and choose the different material of roller. So it's really important we use what kind of material for our tools. Normally in China, 
we use GCR15 or GCR12 or for shaft we use a C45 steel but the most standard way is GCR15 or GCR12 so it's really important what kind of material we use for our rolling tools some of the cheap machine that you can uh, see in the market that they use lower quality or cheap quality of the material it will be really in short performance period so we don't offer or we don't suggest you to follow or accept any cheap performing machine Now I want to explain about performing machine design. Any manufacturer need a really powerful design department for design performing tooling and shaft and it really need a special software like a Copra or other software to use and analyze the profile and design the your performing machine. So the first, I, uh, the first and most important part is roll forming design to calculate the each amount of the tooling stand and the design for these rollers. Roll forming machine design start by flower pattern, which is the we analyze step by step the section of profile how we bend and how many station we need to reach the final result so as you can see here here is a flower pattern uh, for any profile cross section that show you how many stands or how many tooling stand it needs I show you one really complicated or forming machine that has almost 44 tooling stand here I show you the flower pattern one by one that you can see and you can understand what we call flower pattern. Based on these flower pattern, we go to design the roller and shaft and any part of machine. Now we talk for roll forming machine components. First component is the coiler for roll forming machine to load raw material coil into that and start feed the material inside. Second, there is feeding roller and straightening for leveling and feeding the material into the tooling stand. Third is forming a stand and fourth is punching for any punch, any hole or any notch related to your design and requirement. Then we go to torque head and final cutting. This is some general view I show you. Here is the coil as you can see. Then we go to the roll forming stands, shaft, roller, one by one. You can see this is some general view for, for one of our roll forming machine. Uh, if I'm sure it should be some flange profile. So here's the punching during the forming. Some of our punching will be before forming, during the forming, or after punching, we call it final punching. And here is the cutting. Before output taper, we cut it to lengths in the PLC. Here again, the colon. I'm turning around to show you. It's the part and how simple it is, but it's really useful for any roll form machines. It has a forearm and it's really work easily.
here's the punching you can call it pre punching because you can see the material is flat and before forming and before go through the tooling stand we make a hole on that we make a notch on that so it's punching before forming Turning around for you to show you design of this punching. This is for door frame for or one of customer in Middle East. We designed this pre punching unit. Later I will show you the complete line of this machine. We call it pre punching. And here is the torch head. This is really important for any roll forming machine for straightening, bow, twist. We use this torch. Head. It can be moved up, down, twist, left, and right. It's four axis movement. And it's really necessary for any roll forming machine to get a final result. So don't forget about Lotus and hope you enjoy about this video. For any question or any requirement, feel free to contact us. We are from Lotus. Just subscribe us and follow us. Thank you. Bye.